I have been a Franciscan Sister of Christian Charity for 38 years. I took my first vows in 1970. I was taught by the Franciscan Sisters for, in grade school, and they were happy, solid, practical women that I could talk to. We were close to the sisters in our parish, and I just grew up in their environment. I guess because they were like us, they weren't different from the regular parishioners. The first hour of the day after I wake up, I pray. I get a cup of coffee and I pray. That hour, that hour and a half, sets and directs the entire day. It's always a focus on how is God acting in my life. We have a parish with uh, just under 2,800 families. So we have lots of people. We have five weekend services. And in the pastoral care, especially where Sister Anne Marie comes in as our spiritual director here on staff, someone that, that is trained and able to work further with parishioners. How do you continue to discern in your life? I see people, uh, usually for an hour at a time. They make appointments. I see maybe four or five people a day. A lot of people don't like to make a five-year commitment or a commitment to daily spiritual practice. And that is a problem in our culture today. We can't, spiritual life is not part of the American culture in the sense that we can't speed it up. It takes time. In some ways, Sister Pam's personality and my personality are quite a bit alike. We're both quite extroverted, so we have no trouble communicating. We do a lot of talking about things, and even though it's only two people in this kind of ministry with uh, parish directorship and in spiritual direction, you have to have a very flexible schedule. The flexibility, the need to support one another, that's why I go to St. Mary's Amro every week, that's why I go to St. Mary's Winnicani every week. I don't want people to see either of us in isolation, that we are a member of a community. Wearing a habit can be a twofold opportunity or a disadvantage. Some people will approach you and say, oh, I'm so glad you're wearing the habit. Uh, I, I need to talk to someone. I think what they feel, though, is that somehow they're accepted, that somehow this represents God and an acceptance and a love beyond behavior. And I think that's important. That sentimental notion of Francis, again, is good as far as it, as it goes. But I think when I study the authentic Francis, he understood the church in his time. He understood the need for prayer, the need for understanding the humanity of Jesus, his devotion to the crucified Christ. I think we can think of church even in a very sentimental, distant way, rather than that daily incarnation of Christ in the world. So to me, when I'm seeing a person who's in a lot of grief, who maybe have just had an abortion, who may be in uh, the midst of a divorce, that is where Christ is calling me right now. Not to some peaceful meditation in a church chapel, but to the real person who's suffering, who is the, the suffering Christ in today's world. And I, I, being a Franciscan, uh, that's one area. The environmental issues, Francis' great respect for the earth, um, Francis's whole idea of not appropriating to ourselves our intelligence, our talents, our land, our resources, but that this is all a gift from God and it's all to be returned to God. At UW Oshkosh, I meet a lot of different students, different interests, different um, paths, different careers. I love being with young people. I love their energy, their vitality. I love their questions. When you're in college, you have a, a view on life that you're not going to have any other time in your life. It's, it's a great time. And so being in a community that does not follow a lot of fads, that does not move quickly into new areas, I think has given me a rich background and stability in a ministry that's quite new. When I meet a young woman who is interested in joining our community or is interested in at least discerning whether she has a religious vocation, my first suggestion is come and see. Come and live with us, come and make a retreat, come and see how our life works. Is this something that fits your personality and your desire for God.